All right, man, starting off our top five, top three um, Lions series, man. I told you guys it was going to come this week, uh, kind of a little bit later with all the NBA news. We do top three quarterbacks the Detroit Lions face right here. We do defenses, running backs, et cetera, man. And um, at the end of the day, the Lions face some tough quarterbacks this season. And um, I elaborate why I rank them the way I rank them. I start from, from the bottom on up. And uh, some of them be top five too, man. So this top three, man, you got some. Good quarterbacks we play. Obviously, year in, year out, we play Rodgers. We play Cousins. We play Trubisky. All right? But, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about the top three uh, diff- uh, quarterbacks the Lions face. They should have difficulty with, man. And um, starting off at number three, I got a, I got a, I got a 1A, 1B, or 3A, 3B one. All right? I start off with, with Carson Wentz. Um, one of the reasons I worry, I, I worry about them playing Carson Wentz and I think they played them at, it ain't the veteran stadium, it's called like Lincoln Financial now. I remember the old vet with Michael Irvin, um, people was talking about them clapping for Kevin Durant in Toronto when he got towards Achilles. But I remember when Michael Irvin, we thought I think we thought he broke his neck, and the Philly fans clapped him off as, it, as his career got ended on the veteran stadium. I mean, that was a shitty stadium too, just a little bit of football nigga. But Carson Wentz is my third toughest quarterback we face. Um, the mobility. You will see that that's going to be a recurring theme on this list. The mobility worries me, man. Um, if he really back to health and he got his money, which usually when guys get their money and they injury prone, they get injured. So maybe by the time we face him, he won't be 100% or he might get injured. But right now, I remember when he was a, uh, he was on track to win MVP the year he got injured. Boy, bad. You know, he, he got that Aaron Rodgers in him. Nice, sweet. I, I mean... He got one of the sweetest strokes when I see him throw the throw the football, man. It's just sweet. And I like him, man. I like his game a lot. He been injury prone since North Dakota, though, wherever he come from. So, but he dangerous, man. Danger, accuracy. If he don't fall in love with targeting Zach Ertz a ton, and the Lions have been real, real weak versus the tight end, especially in years past, you know, he going to be a problem with his mobility and his accuracy on the run. And from the pocket, he should see some maturity there. From the pocket, he three three B, uh, three A. The same they even to me is Phillip Rivers. Um, Phillip Rivers is one of my favorite quarterbacks um, to watch. Not because he 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 mobile and nothing like that. It's because you know what? If Eli Manning didn't cry his way out of uh out of out of uh, San Diego, um, Phillip Rivers be the one with two or three. I think four rings with the Giants. But accurate from the pocket, knows how to have pocket awareness. He got pocket mobility as funny as it sounds with his lack of feet. And he just real, real gritty. I think we played him at the crib this year. And the Chargers, L.A. Chargers weaker on the uh, coming east than they are staying out west and playing at home. So they was good in the world last year. But Phillip Rivers is my my my, my three, three A quarterback down there with Carson Wentz. And I like the way he stands tall in the pocket and just he able to have a little bit of pocket mobility and get away and evade you know, potential sack artists and stuff of that nature. So, and he real gritty and he'll talk shit to you, man. I, I like him a lot, man. And my second one is Aaron Rodgers, okay? My second quarterback, obviously, is a divisional foe. At the end of the day, I know people don't like the Packers and stuff of that nature, but you got to respect it, man. Uh, one of the reasons he ain't number one on my list is because we got his number. Last two years, well, last year, we did well versus him. We see him every year. We know how to prepare for him every year. We know his tendencies. And when you've been in the in this, the black and blue division as long as Aaron Rodgers, you know, we, we start to pick up on some Minnesota played them tough. The Bears always played them tough. And we always play Green Bay tough because we know them. We we know them. And, and Aaron Rodgers, mobility again, the ability to extend the play and make plays happen off of, off the of freestyle, man. And I'm – I got a lot of respect for that man. He may not be a, a impeccable character as a human being, but I got a lot of respect respect for Aaron Rodgers. And you know, he the number two hardest quarterback we gonna play this year, in my opinion. Now, number one is Patrick Mahomes, boy. And the reason he number one, and I can see a sophomore slump, but I, from what I understand, Tyreek Hill is not gonna get suspended because he ain't do that shit. All right. Um, if I'm other channel, you'll hear this, you know about the story, but he number one because. You put, you put Tyreek Hill on that turf. You put Patrick Mahomes on that turf. You know he got one of the greatest cannons that I've seen out of a young quarterback. Not just the arm strength, but the accuracy, man. And um, the reason I put him over Aaron Rodgers is 
is because of the unf- we not familiar with what they do. We unfamiliar. Andy Weed ain't never been in our division. We unfamiliar. The wrinkles and then he just he just great on the run and then he got Tyreek Hill too. I mean that that's scary man. But um, honorable mentions. I really ain't nobody there to honor. But Trubisky, um, Dak Prescott. He always played tough versus us. Kirk Cousins, Kyler Murray. You don't know what he gonna bring as a rookie. But those are my three. Technically four. Those are my three. If you got a discrepancy or or or. <laughs> You want to argue me something up and down, let me know, man. But I'm going to start doing these throughout the weeks and then cap battles. And then we'll start previewing all the teams we play. Uh, check my other channel. I'll, I'll be doing a preview for all the teams in the NFL, Goodfellas Sports TV. I might start that next week as well. So check me out over there. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you have a business question, acquire response, ship a video request. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love support, man. One time for the one time. Mother C Sports Talk. We go.